Hey everyone, Britta Albert here. If this is your first time here, I'm a spiritual transformational life coach. It's my goal for this channel to help you overcome the obstacles that are standing in the way of you living your best and most authentic life. In today's video, I am really excited because we are finally talking about the eighth chakra. Now the eighth chakra is actually going to be the first chakra in the second octave. The eighth chakra, which resides in 4D, is going to be essentially the last chakra of your humanness. It's gonna be the last chakra point that holds onto this idea of duality. And because of that, once it's open, it's actually going to focus more on healing the planet and healing the universe because you start to really conceptualize and understand and feel that you are one with everything. The other thing that's really awesome about the eighth chakra is that it is the holder of kind of what you would call karmic residue. And although that might not seem very fun, what it means is that when it opens is it actually helps you release some of that past life traumas, patterns, and karmic residue. So it ultimately leads to more freedom as you start to let go of this idea of duality. There is some duress that may be experienced when this chakra point opens, and that will be based upon where you're at and how much that you have to let go of, because it will call for you to let go of a lot of the things that ground you to this planet and tie you into your current life. So some people may experience duress, some people may not experience any. That just depends on how you are able to go with the flow, how well you're able to adapt to change and how much that you actually still have to let go of. It also holds some of the karmic lessons that you came here to learn. So if you're somebody who's struggling to find your purpose and you really have a hard time figuring out why you're even here, what your calling is, what is it about this life that you're even still living for, the eighth chakra can help you identify that a lot more. The seventh chakra, the crown chakra, think of that as kind of a program for the eighth chakra. So where the eighth chakra will bring you some clarity, it'll bring you abilities and gifts and things like that, the way that they show themselves or if they're activating or you're having issues with one but not the others, that'll actually come from the seventh chakra. So you may need to balance your seventh chakra in order to really get the optimum use of your eighth chakra. Now from other chakra points, when they're unbalanced or they're closed, we can experience that in different places in our body and they manifest in different ways. With the eighth chakra, it's a little bit different because when the eighth chakra is closed, you're really not going to notice anything different in your body. It really is, you're gonna just continue to be within this character, within the life that you're currently living, and you'll just be living your life. The vessel will seem healthy. There won't necessarily seem like there's anything wrong, and there's nothing wrong with not having the eighth chakra point open. It's once you open the eighth chakra point, you're able to move forward into some of the more spiritual abilities and concepts, and you start to let go of duality, which also means that you start to release and let go of the patterns and the cycle of reincarnation. So if you're not necessarily ready to let go of the cycle of reincarnation, there's still many things that you want to experience, then your eighth chakra won't be open, probably not in this lifetime, but chances are extremely high that if that's true to you, you're not watching this video at all. People that are watching this video either are ready for their eighth chakra to open or it's already opened. You just would not be drawn to this video or this part of the series at all if that wasn't something that was already on your heart and an agreement that your higher self was ready to receive. So how can you open this chakra if you're ready for it to open? Well, there's tons of guided meditations that you can do even just on YouTube. If you just type in eighth chakra meditation or eighth chakra opening, I honestly had a really difficult time finding information to help me explain to you guys even what the eighth chakra was on YouTube. For your benefit, if you're wanting to open the eighth chakra, just type in eighth chakra on YouTube and you'll probably pull up 20, 30 different guided meditations to help you open up your eighth chakra. Another way that you can open up your eighth chakra is by trusting your body, trusting your intuition, and healing your past trauma, really healing your fears. 
because the main reason that that eighth chakra is not going to open is if you have fear about what's on the other side of it. If you have fear about expansive knowledge of the universe, which is for some people when you're ready, you're like, oh, absolutely not. Like I'm ready. But let me ask you this. If you were all of a sudden out of nowhere to experience an out-of-body experience, do you think you would be ready or would that scare the crap out of you? And so we say that we're ready, we think that we're ready, but when push comes to shove, your body knows if you're ready or not. You cannot fake it to your body. You cannot lie to your body. So if you have fear about the abilities or experiences that will happen when you open up the eighth chakra, chances are high that it's not going to open for you. So what is one thing that you can do if you're listening to meditations and they're not working and you're listening to binaural beats and that's not working or you're even working with a healer who specializes in this and it's still not working. You need to address your fear and heal the traumas that are feeding that fear. Heal whatever is there for your body that's being stored so that you can then clear that block and then make a way to peacefully embrace the changes that are going to come with opening the eighth chakra point. The eighth chakra is so beautiful and honestly I think it is probably one of the most fun to experience during your spiritual awakening. It can be scary, yes, but when you've let go of the fear and you start to embrace it, like I said, there can be duress. However, it's short-lived because when you heal your traumas and you heal the reasons that you're afraid and you start to really ground yourself and feel safe within your body and trust the universe and trust your intuition, you can have so much fun with this. So how do you know if your eighth chakra point is already open? If you're sitting here thinking that you want to go ahead and open your eighth chakra point, chances are actually pretty high that it may actually already be open and it's an untapped potential that you are free to explore balance. You can open it more, bring in more abilities, clear out more karmic residue, which is going to open up that gateway even more. But how do you know if your eighth chakra is already open? Well, number one, if you experience any kind of out of body experience, no matter how small, your eighth chakra point is most likely already opened. If you experience clairvoyance, which is clear seeing, your eighth chakra point is most likely already opened. If you experience clairsentience, which is an inner knowing, a clear knowing, your eighth chakra point is most likely already open because you're tapping into that divine wisdom. You're tapping into these external concepts that you've never embraced before. If you experience in-depth dream recall, the ability to interpret dreams and or the ability to lucid dream, your eighth chakra point is most likely already open. And if you experience telepathy with animals, plants, the ground, even humans, then your eighth chakra point is most likely open. And lastly, if you find that you have empathic abilities where you're able to feel what other people are feeling or have this inner knowing, your eighth chakra point is most likely already open. Now, when just the eighth chakra point is open, you may experience these abilities, but have no control over them whatsoever. I highly recommend just to make a game of it. Allow yourself to relax into having these new abilities, test them out, see what works and what doesn't work if you're able to. If you don't have control over them at all, that's okay because control over these new abilities that happens when this eighth chakra point is open doesn't actually come into play until the ninth, 10th, 11th, and 12th chakras. So give yourself some grace if it's all over the place. Understand you're not going crazy. It is okay. It's part of the process. Allow yourself to embrace them, have some fun, and I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have not already liked this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me. If there's anyone in your life who you think needs to hear this video, please share this out to them. And if this is not your first time watching a video, if you are returning and you've seen other videos of mine, please hit the subscribe button if you have not already hit subscribe. I love you guys so much. I am so excited for this series. Literally, we just started in the higher chakra points. This is the first of what is to come and I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Let me know below, do you have any of those abilities that I mentioned? I am really excited to hear from you. You guys have a great night and I will see you next time.